Victoria Gray isn't used to the limelight. A mum from Mississippi, she's now the star attraction at the Human Genome Editing Summit in London, here to describe the treatment that's changed her life. I think it is a great thing. Who doesn't want a good quality of life where you don't have to suffer? Because my disease, I didn't choose. I was just born having to endure pain and hospital stays. It was a life that I felt wasn't worth living. Victoria has been cured of debilitating sickle cell disease by an experimental gene editing treatment. Her story represents a major advance with implications for millions born with the rare blood disease each year. Inherited diseases like sickle cell, cystic fibrosis and Huntington's begin as variations in genes, the codes in human DNA that tell the body how to make cells. New tools like the so-called CRISPR system can find, cut and replace faulty parts of genes to deliver a corrected genetic code. Senior researchers like Fyodor Urnov foresee a world in which CRISPR is able to provide a rapid cure for the genetic mutations it encounters. The next horizon, the next big breakthrough for us as a community is to take that amazing technology and make it available, manufactured at such scale, for the tens of millions around the world who have a mutation that needs to be crispr today. It is a goal that raises important ethical concerns. One of the greatest concerns is that we're really moving into what many people would call potentially, not yet, but soon, a soft eugenics in which it, it's not just what do you want to have a baby, it's what kind of baby do you want to have. And, you know, the potential for enhancement is there. To be clear, no one at this summit is talking about eugenics. In fact, when a Chinese scientist announced in this very forum five years ago that he'd altered the genetic makeup of embryos in a lab and then brought them to term, his announcement was met with shock and outrage. I felt like I had nothing to lose. I, I was at the, the end. But very precise editing of genetic code to treat and cure rare diseases is making its way from the experimental to the practical, albeit currently at enormous cost. The next great challenge is to make it accessible and affordable. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, London.